think we should address some things. Um, don't you? I almost feel like I've set myself up to fail. And that's not the case, it really isn't. I just think this whole situation has really taken me through a bit of a time and I know I'm not the only one um I just feel like one minute I'm high like on Friday I think it was Friday I posted that picture of me being like you know it took me till 3 p.m to get organized and I've set myself some goals blah 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 blah, blah. and the next day I literally just plummeted the weather was shit I felt like I had no purpose, I didn't have drive, I didn't have motivation. I guess it's difficult talking about it when you're on your own, like when I'm talking to Andrew about it or I've been talking to Elsha about it, they kind of put how I'm feeling together in a sentence into paragraphs and I'm like yes that's, that's, that's exactly how I am but when I try and explain how I'm feeling, what I'm going through, where I want to be, I just can't seem to get my words out i'm not articulating myself very well so i've been putting off this i have been filming i have been you know filming portions of my day but it's just it's so half-hearted and that's not what i want to produce that's not what i want to put out there that's not what i want to share and it's not like i just want to share the good bits either you you know my first weekly vlog I was really excited, started filming, and then literally, like, first, second day, I'm already in tears, getting stressed out about dogs, and I'm crying in the bath and everything like that. I'm not afraid to share that, but I think being in the space that I'm in at the moment, I'd say headspace, I am just punishing myself for not being productive, not being confident, not being positive, all the things I feel like I should be, and that's not right, that's not fair. I'm seeing a lot in comments, whether it's on Instagram or when I put these videos up, of Grace, you really shouldn't be so hard on yourself, you know. Let, um, take off the pressure, like you're doing really well. And the other thing that, which has been nice is that people have been messaging me, um, mainly on Instagram, just going like, really hope you're okay, like I haven't seen you upload and you know, I'm quite worried about you. These are people these are you, you know, people that spend their time or put time aside to watch my videos, to follow me on Instagram, to start dialogue with me and you haven't even met me, it's just literally through this. And a big reason as to why I like social media is because I get to meet people like yourselves and get to start a dialogue, get to know who you are, what you're going through and you then allow me to share what I'm going through and it's this back and forth of almost like a, well it is, it's, it's a friendship and as I said like I haven't even met you and I have felt like I've really let you down and I, you know, when I, when I put it in my description box like hello YouTube friends, you know, hello friends of the internet, like I don't mean that half-heartedly, half like I mean that 110% because when I come on here, when I get my camera out, when I want to talk, it's like I want to talk to you because I want to put video out, out there to then start a dialogue in the comments and again it's like I'm putting pressure on myself because I'm not responding to comments quick enough, I'm not responding to Instagram comments or direct messages quick enough or you know, a week goes by and I'm like, oh, people haven't had a reply for me in, in, in a week and, I've, and I'm not trying to be all like braggy, like, oh, everyone's messaging me, but I am getting a lot, a lot more people messaging me than usual and I guess it's because I'm presenting myself out there, people are seeing similarities, are relating to me and that's, you know, another main reason as to why I've sorted this is because I had a very, you know this, I've had a very difficult upbringing with friends. I had a lot of fickle friends <laughs> and sorry I really don't like that band but it's it's um it's convenient right now. I have been around fickle people and so 
I feel like behind a keyboard or you know that almost barrier where I don't actually have to meet people but I can see I can see what people I get on with and build a relationship and if it prog progresses into a meet up or whatever then great there's I don't know you just end up connecting with the right people whereas I've seemed to have connected with the wrong people in the past and I've had that very like front on and had it almost like the hard way I don't know I know I'm going off on a tangent is because I've got so much to say and I don't know how to say it I'm just sorry and I'm not saying that in a punishing way I just am genuinely sorry I'm sorry to myself sorry Grace for being so punishing the, the little person inside my head that's just constantly telling myself off but I'm here I'm sitting down and I'm starting that communication and I haven't been great I haven't been in the best place um, I haven't had the routine I've been wanting to have because it has felt like every time I try and do a routine it's like I'm carrying like six billion bricks on my shoulders it just doesn't feel right and that's okay for right now but I need to get myself into a routine for as I've said a thousand million billion trillion Googleplex times because it will be good for my head, it will be good for my stomach, I know all these things that I need to do but I think it's the pressure of knowing all these things to do and doing it is just so bloody difficult and you know I'm seeing people on as much as I put these videos up and I'm showing that I'm being productive that's probably like you know an hour or two out of one day of just being productive at best I'm seeing all these people doing loads of productive things and I just feel like a fat piece of lard I feel like why do I have this body I'm not doing anything with it and you just feel a bit useless and I know as I said I know that I'm not the only person that feels like this I think that's why I'm hoping that I'm gonna get a good few comments of people saying I feel like this and then we can just be like yes let's start a club but also let's help each other not be like this because this is not healthy I know I have the personality of as I said always wanting to be productive um, and positive all the time but I can't be a positive poly all the time I have to be a moaning myrtle not that I have to be but I do have a big side of me that is a moaning myrtle it's my freaking nickname at times like I appreciate it when people say don't be so hard on yourself you really need to stop being so horrible to yourself I know that I really do but I'm working on it and I'm really trying hard to work on it but it's a process this is a process I will get there I know I will but I've got to start in baby steps I've been doing a dog walk every single day I've been walking two miles which isn't a lot but it's better than you know walking the dogs once a week because they honestly don't need it I've got a biggish garden I throw the ball around for them but I think it's important that they have a routine as well you know we leave the house every single day that knackers them out for the day it means that I can crack on with things but I shouldn't be so selfish and again I'm saying these words where I'm like it's almost like negative language I'm putting myself down but I sometimes I do need to slap myself on the wrist and and shake myself in the fact that I can do this I can do this but also be gentle with myself it's finding that balance and I haven't quite found it yet you know I've, I've woken up this morning I've curled my hair should we have a look at it it did look nice at one point I curled my hair I had I had I had jewelry I had I had earrings in I had a headband on like I looked cute and then I've come back home and Andrew took some photos which was quite nice to actually have some nice photos to post on Instagram and then to put a caption up of how much I'm struggling <laughs> a little bit contradictory but I don't think photos should just go out as they are they do need to have a little thing a little comment that goes with them that you should read um, but you know I did this to make myself feel better put a bit more tan on wore people clothes and I just 
just like, no, not today. I don't feel better for it. But I did something other than stay in bed. It's all one. So I'm going to take that as a win. So, I, you know, I have been doing, have been, um, getting better at the whole not waking up so late and I'm not like bashing other people that are getting up late because they don't necessarily have a purpose at the moment um, in the fact like a job but that m their brain might not beat them up so much but I know that if I if I stay in late and then before you know it, my day starts at 3 p.m. I'm having dinner at 10 o'clock in the evening and I'm not getting back to get getting bed getting to bed till 2 in the morning I know that that's not good for me so I've got to change that and I'll be a happier person for it but again it's a process but that's another thing I'm setting out little goals like right don't skip breakfast have lunch um, eat in the evening at a reasonable time and these will all help but all in good time I've just gone through a de depressive slump and I felt very lonely in the depressive slump. So I appreciate your kind wishes and hoping I'm okay. I am okay. I'm just, this isolation is hitting me hard. I wanna be out, I wanna be working. I wanna hug my friends. I wanna go see my mom. Um, I wanna see Andrew's mom and dad. I even wanna see their, their annoying dog Woody and give him a slobbery kiss, or well, he'll give me one. Just, just things like this. I really, I just, again, I, I wanna, I wanna get back into my Norwich life. I wanna film some epic videos. I miss Kirsty. Just going into her salon and chatting shit with Libby as well. I wanna flash Helen. I've already, I, I do it on FaceTime, but it's just not the same. <laughs> just keep smiling. All is okay. Am I having a bit of a breakdown? Yes. But all is okay. Hope you're okay. We will get through this. We have to get through this because this is not gonna set me back. I'm just sorry I've been away for a little bit after promising you like the whole entire world and feeling like I can deliver it and then having a bit of a breakdown. People have it worse than me. I'm just explaining what I'm going through. But thank you for being kind and patient. That's really two very good qualities to have. Good morning. Yes, you heard me right. It is still the morning and today I fancy giving you some content. As you can see, I have got myself facially ready and um, I feel, oh, I have also had my coffee and my crumpet. Obviously, I don't know why I'm showing you this plate, but it's just a plate up here to show you that I ate my breakfast in bed today with my coffee. Now, I think it's important that we both go through this routine together because I feel like that's what's gonna help me achieve a good day today. Not only for my body, but for my mind and my soul. So, <laughs> if you're gonna be my cameraman, you can't I need to go to the toilet. Okay, I can tell you that I've already gone to the toilet this morning. I've gone for a healthy poo. I've gone for a wee. And the next stage in this is probably changing my clothes, brushing my teeth, and yes, I am gonna be wearing my retainer today. Can we achieve that today? I'm thinking, I've been starting my days off by uh, by getting up in bed, you bring me a coffee, bring me a crumpet, mm -hmm. and then we and then I take ages getting ready because I procrastinate. Yeah. And then we go on a dog walk, I get back, I'm so tired because we've walked about, what, 60 miles? Uh, no, but How many? Know, under 5K. Under 5K. And I get back and I'm just really tired. So I'm thinking we change up today. I do all the things hygienically good for me. I'm gonna have a shower later because yes, I am gonna exercise today. Maybe, perhaps, probably not. <laughs> um, so I, the next thing I do wanna do is brush my teeth, put my retainer in and change my clothes. And then I think Andrew, 
we're gonna maybe mow the lawn i'm thinking yeah. clean the bathroom that's on the list of things to do um we obviously will take the girls for a walk get away from cecil kiki you can't have cecil because you'll ruin cecil um No, because you'll actually put a hole in it. Luna plays with Cecil, but gently. And I'm thinking maybe that's how we 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 try the day today because I feel like I had my big speech yesterday and then I showed you FaceTiming my mum and that was it. So I'm probably gonna ax the FaceTiming of my mum. What I'm gonna put in here is, I probably shouldn't be talking about this on camera, but I'm basically gonna have my speech, mm. the speech, mm -hmm. and then it's today. Am I allowed to go for a wee now? Yeah, okay, you can go. Thank you. But I'm giving you this. Thanks. So, as I said previously... Sorry, you can only see my, my knobby bum. My knobby bum. Um, oh, I have put tan on my face because I was like, that's going to make me feel better. But clearly, it just makes me look like I've gone on a sunbed and wore goggles but we're just gonna go with it. Um, I've pulled the bed back. I think what I'm gonna do is make the pillows look nice and just spruce the area. And then once I'm done with this room, pretty much close the door on it. Um, I have been moaning at Andrew that I want the shelves to go up here. These are said shelves. I think that'll be quite nice to put up. The only sad thing is that what I want to go up on those shelves are plants and I'm not sure how easy it'll be to get those plants. So it might just be the shelves are up, nothing's on them. I'll go put these back. I've also started today not making lists. I did feel like lists for me were a bit of a trigger because I was punishing myself, as I said in my speech yesterday, punishing myself for, you know, not doing stuff for a good couple of days so that I do a list that's like literally unachievable and I punish myself. That's my way of punishing myself. So I'm thinking in my head, just go through with what I want to get done. And then before you know, I've done quite a lot of stuff and that's almost like my, my head list. So... I'm just, yeah, I think that's how I'm going to play today. We'll see how it goes. And maybe when I feel like I've got a momentum going, I'll write lists. But for now, I'm just going to sort this room in an efficient time as possible and just get going. The bed doesn't actually need to get changed, but that's not something I want to tackle today. So we're just going to ignore that. Just trod my leaf that's going and uh, let's crack on. steps there's really no point um take medication it's thursday today medication done so another thing that i've been meaning to do i feel absolutely awful that i haven't done this already but basically i had a a girl message me i've had so many messages and i feel like i won't dick from not for not responding but basically i had someone message me from a care home going we were wondering whether you would like to send us a you know a letter or a postcard or photos of you know how you're surviving lockdown basically because the 
the, the people that she's looking after are quite lonely, they're not having visitors, and I just, yeah, I just basically said, yeah, I'll, I'll do it, because I thought it was a great idea, I'm not saying that I'm begrudging that now, I just feel awful that I haven't done that yet, but now I've got to find the person that sent it so that I have the address, I swear I screenshotted it, but I've got some postcards that I, I already have anyway. So I might send that one, hang in there, have a good day, and just um, time flies when you're having rum. I just thought these they'd find them quite funny and it's something for them to read, maybe something to put up on their notice board. I just, as I said, I just feel awful that I haven't done that. So now I've got to find the person, get the address. Um, so I've got to do that today and then I've got to send my prescription off in the post to my doctors um, because I'm still with the doctors back down south in Kent because the doctors are so good I haven't changed my dress which I know is naughty but they really help me with my stomach so I don't really want to I don't really want to change so I've got to do that those are the two things I'm going to sit down and do now okay so I found it which I'm really really chuffed about she basically said um I'm going to just read it to you um hi Grace I currently work at I'm not going to put in where she works um blah blah care home for older people and I'm sending this message to people I follow at the request of my manager our clients at blah 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 home for older people would like to receive letters postcards and pictures we enjoy playing a role in our community and hope this will continue due to us now being closed to visitors we would love to hear how you are all doing it would really make our day and then she sent me the address um, and I said I'd do it embarrassed to look when it was so i really feel bad but i'm, I'm gonna do that today um, i only have one one of these and my prescription kind of needs to go off so when i when i send this round the corner where my post box is the post office is there so i'm going to pick up some more of these and then make sure i send it but before i do that i'm going to screenshot that so then i cannot lose it ever again sorry if the um quality has gone down but um I am ready I'm just um I was about to go outside the door and then I smell Angela's cage and I was just looking at her going no Angela we can't do this anymore you're going outside so rather than being in there when she'll go in there but she'll stay in one corner I'm letting her go around the garden and just run right really and she's really happy doing it so um, I have got to sort my prescription out. No, please don't go into the bush. I am going to sort my prescription out and leave the house. Obviously, I put put my shoes on to go do that. I am semi ready. Um, but I just I looked at her little face and I dragged her out of her cage and I was like, no, you're not staying in your cage anymore because I let the cage open and she just will not come out. So I got her out with a towel because she keeps on giving me battle scars. Um, and we've done some walkies in the garden. I'm just worried she's gonna go through one of these holes because she'll find a way. So I'm just kind of patrolling, but she's she's flicking her back legs and being really happy. So I'm not rushing to leave the house just yet. Come here, Ange. She's just living her best life. I haven't done poo patrol though, so soz Ange. We'll clean your cage out today as well. Cause you're in it all the time and you won't come out and socialize. It's a bit mucky, isn't it? And I only did it the other day. Good afternoon. That's nice. So I've been to the post office. Well, we went to the post office, got my prescription sent off. Um, had a little bit of fun with Angela again and I was debating playing The Sims and I thought, hmm, yes, let's play The Sims. But then Andrew came in and whacked me. <laughs> no, I thought I'm going to be productive today because I want you to have a decent vlog. So I'm going to, I'm going to hoover the lawn. It is 
right, it's just a rubbish lawnmower. You started now, you've got to finish it. Can you bring it back? Oh my god, so The other technique is just doing it like this. Probably be easier doing it like this. <coughs> Oi, no. <coughs> Kiki, no. Away. you can uh, tell already that the the vlog was going swimmingly I was relatively productive um, I hope this this isn't too noisy because I'm out in the garden but um, it went tits up after the the mowing situation yesterday um, I do feel like being in isolation tensions are high and I think it's inevitable to fall out with your loved ones. And that's exactly what happened yesterday. And that's exactly why you didn't get your vlog, as I promised. Um, Andrew and I had a very big row. Um, I'm hoping things are okay. I feel like we just need a bit of space, hence why I'm outside and I slept on the sofa last night. Well, I mean, I slept on the sofa last night because I was just watching Joe Lysa and cuddling Luna and then before you know it, I just fell asleep. But being trapped inside a house with someone you care about, as much as I love being around Andrew and Andrew loves being around me, I feel like, again, it's inevitable you're gonna rub you're gonna rub each other up the wrong way and tensions being high, you're just waiting for the bomb to go off really and that's what happened yesterday. Um, a lot of things were said and he probably won't want me to talk about it. I'm not sure really if I wanna talk about it but I'm clearly doing it now. But this is the thing, right? I took a couple of days off that's that's a bit of an understatement really isn't it but I did have a bit of me time I did have a little bit of um uh, I'm not gonna call it a breakdown because it wasn't a breakdown I just needed some time I didn't want to get up I didn't want to do anything but with me putting videos out and sharing what I'm doing I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest I wasn't gonna put up a vlog yesterday just so you got one and be all happy clappy no, that's not why I'm about and this is this is why I'm talking about it now Life isn't perfect You fall out with the people you care about To having a little argument to making up ten minutes later on this occasion that hasn't happened and Andrew and I have been fine this morning, but again, I just do feel like I need a bit of time Just purely because of what what was said yesterday 
um, and he's struggling massively. Um, there's personal stuff going on. I think we've all got personal stuff going on, and um, you realise. I think when you're trapped inside your home, okay, you can go to the shops, you can walk your dog, but you are, and you know that you're restricted. Um, your mind goes on a tangent. Um, you think things that you wouldn't normally think. Uh, just overly sensitive. And um, it is cruel what your brain can do to you. So I feel like that projected onto me quite a bit. I'm sure I projected what I'm going through onto him a lot. But if, <laughs> I think the main reason I'm talking about it is because this is life. Um, it's funny how I watch people's weekly vlogs, daily vlogs, vlogs, and everything's so happy clappy. Oh, we haven't done much today, but today we're doing this. And that's all, very well and great to watch because wh why would I want to click on a vlog and I guess why would you want to click on this vlog and see that I'm talking about an argument that I've had and it was very hostile it's a bit negative I don't really want to know about that but at the same time this is what I'm about and that's why I'm talking about it and I guess that's why people subscribe to it I'm just being myself and that's why I didn't get a vlog yesterday basically but maybe other people that see this feel like actually it's okay to talk about shit that's gone on and life isn't perfect and how isolation is affecting us all because I don't know when this is going to stop and let's be honest it's not not going to be any time soon I'm not sure I could do with myself in isolation I'm surprised that he still wants me to be around. This isn't that deep, it's not. I'm just wanting to share with you that things aren't perfect and that we've all got a bit of learning to do about each other. And if anything, this should really make relationships stronger and you learn a lot more about each other. But also in learning things about each other, understanding what the other person needs today i think i need a bit of space and i'll let him know that he's giving it to me today and um i think we need to respect that from one another if you've got a partner that you're self-isolating with understanding that if the other person goes into one room and they want to be left alone don't be insulted it's a very intense time that you do just need to appreciate other people's needs. Um, and um, yeah, I'm just sorry you didn't get your vlog yesterday. I did clean out Angela. We had a bit of a bit of a laugh doing that. You need to get off your stink. I had a nap with Luna in her crate, in her little bed, snuggled up, but I was just so low last night. It's not how I wanted the day to turn out. Just got to be there for one another and talk. I think that's all I had to say. I'm sorry, I'm outside and it can be a bit noisy and I'm sorry I look a bit grim. I'm wearing yesterday's makeup and probably need a shower. No, I know I need a shower. Just tried to mow the lawn. Battery's still... Shit. But I just want to keep it real. Might get a happy vlog next time. And me and Andrew are absolutely fine. But... This is just what happens. If you're not arguing with your other partner, then something's wrong. <laughs> After my little uh, chit chat, um, 
of just what's been going on. Um, I'm, in, I'm importing the footage uh, of what I've done so far and all my chatty little bits. And whilst uh, that's happening, I fed the girls, well the girls have been fed, and my Asda parcel has arrived. And it's basically jazzy cushions for the sofa. A lot of the ones I wanted were out of stock, but I really like the Asda selection that they have. So I'm gonna hoover, basically clear the whole lounge. And so when I look at it, it makes me feel happy. So I'm gonna do that now. Cushions are obviously these two, that one, and those two. So I accidentally bought two of those, but I think I've made it work. As they give you suggestions in like by the look, and I think they were kind of bundled together because they had all like the colours. So I just knew what cushions I had already, and I've just made it work. So I've done Two of the pillows they came with, but I've done the opposite colours for each cushion and then kind of put together what I thought worked. I really love textures. I am worried about these, that the girls are going to play with them, but with the problems that we're having with the sofa at the moment, it's going to be like a no-go zone. But oh, this makes me so happy. The cushions that we had before were like in the sale and they were broken and I thought I was saving money and they were, I got them from HomeSense but I reckon I could fix them up and make it work somewhere else around the house but for now what I've done with Asda I'm really happy with. I just love them like the little textures and they're, they're just good quality and they weren't expensive at all like if you were looking for cushions whether it's for your bed or anywhere just look on the Asda website they told me I was going to get it in May um, it arrived literally five days after the order I made probably not even that oh, I just I feel like I've created a color scheme now I'm not sure whether the the yellow one's a bit too yellow because it's pink pink and then yellow but because there's yellow there and there I feel like it pulls it together but maybe with a throw there it could be quite nice. Yes! I've just edited the whole vlog and I thought, um, I didn't want to leave it how it was. That's how, how it was obviously this morning. Had a chat with Andrew, everything's okay. Like, not perfect, but we're just, we're just, you know, we need to understand that we need to talk a bit more. Um, he needs to talk a bit more, obviously I need to talk a bit more and yeah, this is just a bit of a process and it's not easy on anyone right now. I, I can imagine that you're probably going through a bit of hell yourself. But other than that, I just wanted to just not leave you hanging and put up a vlog and then I don't vlog for another fucking two weeks and then you just may be thinking horrible things about me and Andrew, but whatever. Just wanted to keep it very transparent. The highlight of today has been, we went to B&Q, we've got some few bits. It will be a big, 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 big garden day tomorrow. So I will make sure I document that, good content and all. And I just wanted to show you the garden situation itself anyway. I managed to mow the other section and I realized, my because andrew was in control obviously let's all blame everything on andrew right now but he was he was being the cameraman when i was when i was hoovering the lawn and um he'd zoomed in on my face at one point then forgot to zoom out and propped it up somewhere you couldn't see me so i'm just going to show you the garden so far and obviously in the next vlog you're gonna see what we want to do to the garden what has been happening to the garden helen's given us some advice because she's freaking ground force isn't she um and 
yes still struggling with the mower never get an electric mower however if you do get a petrol mower that needs to get serviced every year apparently so i'm um, i'm okay it's gonna take me a whole week to mow the lawn but it's fine at least it can get done just not imminently so let me flip you around there's the lawn mower i only managed up to about here the other day so just that and then the battery ran out and then I, I i did it again and then the battery has run out again uh but we're getting there there's a lot of poo on the floor i've definitely hoovered up some poo but it is kind of coming together what we're going to do is water it all and put seed down but that was the before like how long <clears throat> how long that grass is angela was having a whale of a time with it being long and she was doing lots of binkies um all over the place but um it just needs to get trimmed really watered and seeded uh, we want to sort all of this out and all of that we've got we bought plants and everything because being q recently just opened so i can say that the next vlog it will be an exciting one it won't just be me mowing the lawn or talking about all the arguments that i'm having <laughs> with andrew but it's so cold yes i'm feeling i'm so sure you can tell by my tone I'm, I'm in better spirits i still feel like a chunky monkey a big piece of lard my next challenge is going to be exercising and getting back into exercising i'm literally petrified of just exercising and doing a boot camp so need to get over that fear and to get over that fear you've got to face that fear and i will be doing that soon but it's you know tally ho with the garden i suppose thank you for watching if you've made it this far i'm sorry if it was a ranty one bit bit different but also i'm a very chatty person i hope you're all keeping safe and would love to have a little chin wag with you in the comments and just have a catch up i still haven't responded i'm so sorry to comments and messages whether that's on instagram or on youtube but that will be partially my goal this weekend if the garden doesn't keep me distracted enough or i aren't or if i'm not you know accidentally <laughs> playing sims um but i've been thinking about you a lot i really do feel like i've let you down but I'll get there. I will get there. Because I have to. We're in it together. So, sending lots of love. And I'm okay. I just um, needed a bit of me time. But um, I'm back bad and still housebound. But I'll see you very soon.